when creating a sim you may want to change face shapes and things like that and you do so by clicking on their face to get in close to them and then you can move some sliders around there's lots of different ones uh, you can change the angle of the eyes nose size uh, I think you can curve it up and down and lots of different ones so if you just move your mouse around you'll see um, things that change a bit you can change your head shape and mouth height as well as width. Uh, no, hang on. Where did width from? No, okay, maybe not. Do height. Oh yeah, there's width. So uh, jaws, cheeks, uh, cheekbones, eyes. Can position them far apart or in close. Change eye size to be bug-eyed or pin-eyed whatever you want or somewhere in between eyebrows up and down depends on how where you want them ears can be changed as well they can go out and in and up and down and so lots of things you can actually change that without selecting from all these things but if you click on detailed edit mode it takes you in even closer so now we have the option to come in and with the lips we can go make them fatter or fuller I guess uh, bring them more in for a bit more of a cupid's bow or a bit flatter depending on how you'd like them to look you can bring them up to have a smile or down to have a frown and if you turn them to the side you also get another set of options so from the side profile you can bring them out so that they don't have any dimples or in so they get a slight bit of a dimple. You can also move the jaw forward or back. You can have an underbite or an overbite. And you can bring the lips out and in, as well as the top lip out and in. And up and down, of course, as well. Uh, I think you can move the whole mouth. Oh, from here, yeah, you can also move the mouth out and in as well. So depends on how you want them to look. So from turn with turning the head you can actually get two different um, options here as well. So I'm bringing my eyes forward or back, uh, head you know flat or not, uh, nose, bridge, you can change that separately to the rest of it. Uh, you can bring your nostrils up and down from that angle, you can flare them in and out from this angle. You want to have a bigger nose or a very tiny little petite nose. The nose bulb as well, you can change the end of the nose. And as well as, well, well about the eyes as well. But one thing I, not everyone knows is that if you actually grab the pupil, you can actually make the eyeballs bigger or smaller. So you can do some really creepy things or you can leave them to be a fairly normal eye. And you can also change the inner corner up and down, outer corner up and down as well. And the eyelid itself as to how much you want showing as well as the lower lid. You can change that as well. So and with eyebrows, you can change the shape up and down, uh, flatten them out. Curve them up, bring them down. So you can change it quite a bit with them as well. And this is all without using any of the presets. The presets are very handy, you can actually get a lot of different shapes and things. And I'm just going to change her lips to something like that actually. That looks a bit better. Try this one. Yeah, okay, that's cute. Alright, and I just want to change her eyes as well to something. I like mine to have no eyelash because I like to use the custom content eyelashes. So I generally choose no eyelashes when I'm doing these. But um, yeah. and also you can change necks as well. So you can actually bring the neck out or in at the side. And if this way, you can actually make a wider neck or a skinny neck depending on your preference as well. So that's a lot of customization you can actually do with their face, which is very handy. 
Um, also, you can bring the eyes in closer up, 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 up and down as well. So, depending on how you want them to look, you can change all those options there.